So typically in an exam, you would be faced with something like this. So the first thing might be to name the molecule. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be hex. We've got a double bond somewhere in the molecule, so it's going to have ene in its name. Where is the double bond? It's one, two, three. That's carbon number three. What about from this side? One, two, three. Makes no difference. So it's hex three ene. So then the question might go on and say, is EZ isomerism possible in this molecule? So the easiest way to establish it is to just apply that rule I've just told you about. So we'll go for the first carbon in the double bond. What have we got? We've got a, a CH2CH3 group versus there's just a hydrogen here which isn't shown in skeletal formula. So we've got different things on this carbon. Let's look at this one. Hydrogen, CH2CH3. So we've got different things on each carbon of the double bond. So yes, EZ is possible. Now we've established that EZ isomerism is possible. Um, you might be asked to say why, and then you could say because each carbon of the double bond contains different groups. So now we've established that EZ is possible, we might have to draw out the two isomers and label them correctly. You might find it a little bit difficult to to see in that form, literally just the way that it's drawn could throw some people. Easiest thing to do is to make the double bond horizontal. So then obviously we've got the hydrogen, the way this is drawn, we've got hydrogen up there. So we've got this ethyl group like that. And then on this one, we've got this position for ethyl and hydrogen. And now establish priority. So each carbon in the double bond so obviously, there's the priority group on this carbon. There's the priority group on this carbon. These are on opposite sides of the double bond. And so this is the E form. What would the Z form look like? Well, let's keep this in the same position. It would look like that. Priority groups on the same side of the double bond. One for you. Same sort of format of question. So let's name this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hex. It's got a double bond. Ene. Where's the double bond? Well, it's straight away on the first carbon. Hex one ene. Is EZ isomerism possible? Let's look at the carbons in the double bond. What have we got attached to this carbon? We've got two hydrogens, that's the same the atom group. So basically when we swap them round, the molecule is still the same.